Hi, my name is Shane Geiger. I'm reporting for Infowars.com. Um, I, I hear quite a number of uh, bare assertions here today, and it'd be interesting to uh, look at the research behind all of this. Um, I, I look at your uh, charts there in particular, and I wonder how, how it is that you um, Wondered, I wonder how it is that uh, those were produced since uh, you state that you had absolutely no steel from the World Trade Center 7 building. Um, in, I'm also very interested in how um, you state in your uh, September 27, 2007 response to a Data Quality Assurance Act request that uh, you were unable to, find, per, unable to provide a full explanation for the total collapse and uh, you iterate, reiterated from your Twin Towers report that uh, NIST has stated that it found no corroborating evidence to suggest that explosives were used to bring down the buildings. Now, in the very next sentence, you, well, you admit that uh, NIST did not conduct, conduct tests for explosive residue. Uh, so, of course, it's very difficult to, to find what you're not looking for. But, in, okay, but uh, um, we're the iron rich spheres that are characteristic of the dust and that can be seen on the United States Geological Survey website, uh, these are found in every single uh, sample of the dust to date, including all the samples that R.J. Lee Group took a look at. Uh, I actually have. Okay, a friend, we're going to move on. Then. Found, found okay, um, I think you've given enough questions. And, uh, I think this is, is there's a lot of these out there. There's a billion pounds of the World Trade Center dust in a landfill on Staten Island. I think it's pretty fair to say that NIST could, if NIST were interested in doing so, a take a look at sir? these spheres. Inside these spheres, Dr. Stephen Jones is claiming yeah. that they're okay. That uh, we have to have move on. I, I certainly would like to hear a little bit about your research uh, on this rather than uh, bare assertions. Okay, could you comment on some of what was said? Thanks. Yeah, very quickly. There are a thousand pages of reports right there. It's on the website. I urge you to read it, understand it, and when you have understood it, we can have a discussion. Um, How may I but go about well. Well, you can send, submit questions to us in writing, and we'll look at we'll, we will look at we'll look at what you have to say. But I will reassert what I have said all along: that the findings that we have got, we are very comfortable with. It's based on sound science. It's consistent with the observations. It's simple. It's straightforward. It's elegant, technical. It's understandable by people. When you when and we looked at, as I said, all of the alternative theories that were presented, there were only few that rose to be credible in our technical judgment. When we see evidence that, in fact, you have robust science behind alternative theories, we will look at them. Okay. Any more questions? Um, I'm just curious. You could probably talk for another eight hours, and there will be a certain number of folks who just won't buy it. What do you say to them? as gen generally speaking? Well, I think the general sense is um, we, are, first of all, we are technical experts. We all have impeccable technical credentials, uh, both in the, the private sector experts who work with us and the experts working at NIST. And I would say that the information we have, the science that we have and the findings that we have are incredibly conclusive in terms of the fact that fires were, in fact, the primary cause of why World Trade Center 7 building collapsed. Alternative theories are really, none of them have been found to be credible in terms of why these buildings collapsed. And in fact, I would suggest that the, uh, the public should really, at this point, recognize the science is really behind what we have said. Okay. Um. We're actually going to conclude the briefing now. Um, and I'd like to um, thank everyone for attending here and for um, participating. Yeah, there'll be opportunity for reporters in attendance to ask additional questions. But um, I'd like to remind everyone that you can find the entire report and supplementary materials on the web at wtc.nist.gov. Thank you. This were a dictatorship, it'd be a heck of a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>